where exists the watershed, the thin air of choice we would possess, a certain stone. Travelers, I commend your search. In my own hand, I willingly divide with you. Please take this souvenir and know I split hard silence with a friend. I got me a good knife. Come from my uncle on my 21st. Made it himself from an old saw blade. Sent it through the mail, which is illegal in some states, but no one knew. He'd say, John, the law's our friend. Sheriff in LaGrange, I know him, and the deputies too. All good men. They fish with me. Well, I grew up with the sheriff's wife. He chiseled the blade, then ground it smooth. Polish it with sand, you can see yourself. Handle his bone, a rather staghorn made from a deer he shot, someone's oat patch last October. It hangs at my hip, white as a compound fracture. I wear it with pride. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to use this up. Go down there. For building fires, try cedar wood. The right sort of cedar is called dead. You find it smooth and nearly white as bone. It lies full length in ceremonial slowness, living its inanimate ease down to the last splinter. It shares a certain splendor with stone. You too must learn its pace. Sometime you will be alone, feeling for the cedar's breath, and you will hear only wind or the sound wind makes in the trees around you. And the pulse will quicken between your reaching hand and the wild dry log. You must take it then. A sharp ax proves its life. One blow and you can open it like a book and read the red heart burning purply in your hands. Slowly the fragrance reaches you like a deliberate smoke and then you will think only of the fire you will build with this good cedar wood.
John, will you come help me in the garden? Looks like it's clouding up. Yep. Hope we get through this before it rains. All day each wind-blown thought has been a seed, and I have nurtured softly every subterranean need in its cultivated mound, answering with water the deep movements desiring me in dust. The wind begins again, and leaves on boughs mutter underneath the breath, and I, kneeling here in clods, address the lust of earth, Bless like a panting god.
thanks to rain, jagged as lightning, the little streams down out of clouds, little thunder falls. Away from here, as far down as the earth will go, oceans wait like arms. When two rivers meet, one loses its name. Two rivers, married in their beds, feel the journey widen, slow. Missouri water finds itself impressed in the Mississippi silt. Two rivers, one loses. Dark, the clouds are gouging slowly at the full moon's eye. Trees standing together waken as lightning gestures in the middle of the night. We lower the southern windows pointing at the storm and go back to bed with the insects listening. Our spayed female cat sits looking like a shadow at the new darkness. It has been murky here, and no doubt quicksand, where these last lines, that river merge. At dusk, our delta, soiled with words, resembles land, but treacherous to cross, without a tree or store, and undermined by currents flowing crazily as blood. Traveler, we have come far. Now at night, each island is a world apart. In the mud and twilight of this beach, we do not know what sea this is, so cold, and pulled by moons we never saw. Traveler, all of this has been simply to get you lost, as that clear stream up north without a name. Your life starts there, that eye begins your search downstream, the dream, the level you will always seek. Sometimes you pass shorelines where something moves or waves and then it's gone. Wave to me.